Sometimes it's the little things. Sometimes you just gotta do those small insignificant jobs that don't seem like much on the surface, but when they all add up, it does make quite a difference. Things like moving your lightning rods off flammable blocks because you're a bit of a dummy and you don't really know how they work. Or like digging out a bunch of stone around a dangerous spider spawner so that it spawns more dangerous spiders. And then using that string to make candles. While I was doing this, I kept getting swarmed by zombies. Turns out there was a spawner right behind me and in it had a chest with diamond horse armor and a saddle. After that I was feeling pretty good, so I went ahead and fixed my minecart track with something less flammable and more blast resistant so I could go mining in a different- Whoa, I hit- Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, not quite yet. Anyway, as I was saying, I fixed my minecart track- You know what? Just forget it. Don't even worry about it. Another small job I did was gather some sugarcane for an enchanting area. It's like my uh, TV chef moment. Here's some I prepared earlier. How many books am I gonna make? 64 books! That's too many books. I stand corrected. Maybe it's not too many books. I go like- do that. Okay, okay, I like that. That's cool. Hmm, I don't think I can enchant with that crafting bench. So I headed off back into the mines to gather some obsidian, which came with its trials, as it always does. And it Holy. But I managed to mine out about five pieces. All right, I got one more than I needed, but there it is. Uh-huh, so yeah, looking good. Now that we got those small jobs out of the way, I think I can finally deal with the big job of moving these cows. Oh my, don't you look at me. Don't you look at me. Look guys, if you had to go to bed every night listening to this, you two would start losing your mind. I can't handle it anymore. It's it's too much for me. Uh, and because of that, I'm moving upstairs into the spare bedroom. So here we go. This is my new bedroom from now until those cows are moved. In fact, I'm going to put them right over there. But before that, let me add a couple homely touches. Maybe a crafting bench there. A chest for my special belongings. Maybe some bookshelves. Maybe I can put them there. It's, it's not so bad. A couple candles, just like that. And I know it's kind of vain, but maybe we could add a painting of me as well. Look at that. So sometime while I was building this, I managed to lose my axe, uh, which isn't great. Let me put some uh, silk-touched grass back there. Yes, that's right. Enchantments. Uh-huh. Genius. There's a little bit of lag. <laughs> you know, I'll be honest. It could be cleaner, but it keeps the cows in and I get a peaceful night's sleep, so I can't really ask for more than that. Oh yeah, and this is how you do the redstone part. As I said, it could be cleaner, but you know, it does the job. And finally, the time has come for the great migration. Can I please have your attention? Mm-hmm. I'm gonna be honest with you, so listen carefully. Not all of you are gonna make it out of here alive. Okay, this would be much easier with an axe. Oh, don't you dare st Don't you even think about stepping on my crops. Get down from there, you air-walking cow. Cows, am I right? This next little bit is a little bit dangerous, so be careful. Watch your step over the bridge. Uh -huh, very good, very good. Everyone made it just fine. That's, <laughs> that's surprising, actually. Is that everybody? All right, we're all here. All right, here we go. Let's go in. Come on in, guys. And as far as I can tell, there's no way that you can get out of here. Because I'm a bit of a psycho when it comes to building, I couldn't help myself. I had to build a kind of barn next to the cow pen, but it does double as a horse stable. So I mean, like, it, it, it's kind of justified, right? <laughs> what are you doing in here? What are you doing in here? You're not a cow. Get out. You too. Get out of here. That does remind me though, I need to go and check on the villages in the village. Make sure that they're doing okay, but we'll do that later. The farm now has a horse stable, which is great. I don't have a horse <laughs> to put in here, but I will soon and I can, I can sit it right here. I have a bunch of different other like stalls as well, so I can have multiple horses if I want. I've even started doing an upstairs area where I'm like storing hay. I got like a kind of pulley that's missing the thing on the end and a very empty sort of like farm hand room. So uh, who knows? We probably will never go in there ever again, but it's there. Check this out though. In the last video, we worked on this wool farm here with the windmill and everything. Uh, and it's been doing great, I think. I haven't actually checked the stock, but we've got 16 white sheep I need to color them in. So we're gonna get some different colored dyes real soon. I think I have most of them, but there's a couple I'm missing. Here's where it sort of drops off to- that's- <laughs> that is so much wool. As nice as it was having 24 stacks of white wool, I really did want the colors. So I went around and checked the dyes that I could farm and the ones that I could craft so I could figure out the ones that I was missing. All right, so it looks like we have most of the dyes, but we've got a couple spots missing, which isn't too bad. The only dyes that we're really missing is brown. 
and green. So green will make lime, it'll make green, and it'll make cyan, and then that should complete everything. So off I went in search of a jungle, but before I'd even left the bay, I had to, you know, discipline my bees a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. go back home right now. Just don't touch the water. Get away from the water. I highly doubt it listened to me, but it didn't matter. The sun was high in the sky, the water was crystal clear, and I just found my first shipwreck. <gasps> hey, <laughs> it's a shipwreck. Okay, come on. What do we got? Huh, that's a jungle. <gasps> Moss. I got, I got a treasure map. Yeah, I got a treasure map. All right, treasure map. Show me your booty. Don't. Okay, maybe, maybe don't do that. So if the sun rises that way in the east and it sets. Finding treasure in Minecraft is it's pretty hard. I don't know if it should be this hard. And I'll be the first to admit that I'm not very good at reading a map. But one thing that never changes is that X does not mark the spot. I could dig hundreds of holes and it'll never be under the X. It's always somewhere near it. Thankfully, after digging for what felt like days, I did find the treasure. But it wasn't where the map said it was. It was like a off to the side. Okay, so we're back where we were before and uh, we've actually found a jungle. It was a lot easier than I thought it was. It's literally just like this. Uh, oh, you can kind of see it. On the other side of that, that's our main island there. Uh, and there's a jungle right here on our doorstep and it looks so good. I'd finally arrived at what felt like the most enchanted jungle I'd ever seen. I mean, this thing was beautiful. And in almost no time at all, I'd found the things I'd needed. Cocoa beans, jungle wood, and some bamboo for good measure. I pushed further into the jungle, hoping to uncover some more of its mysteries and ended up on top of the world. Actually, look, this is really high. Okay, what? I can see everything from over here. What is over there? That looks so cool. What is that? I'd completely forgotten what I was doing. At this point, my mind was so captivated with exploring this jungle that I totally lost sight of the whole reason I came to the jungle in the first place. Even more so when I spotted a wild azalea tree, leading me to believe that there was a lush cave right below where I was standing. I'm going in. Geronimo! Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, there's so many dead fish. I thought this was supposed to be a lush cave. And there's just death everywhere. Dead fish, dead skeletons, zombies. Me soon. Oh no. Unfortunately for me, I don't think I quite had the Alex's POV Minecraft Caves and Cliffs trailer experience. I think I was more of the Steve in this situation. Okay, so I'm down here in the scary part of the cave. I want to be up there in the lush part of the cave. How do I, how do I get up there? Eventually I made it to the lush part of the cave, but it was kind of average. Don't get me wrong, it was beautiful, but just kind of average. So I got what I needed and got out of there. On my way out, I came across an abandoned mine shaft with a bunch of loot. So I grabbed that before I started looking for an exit out of these epic caves. It's the middle of the night and I'm in the middle of a very, very dense jungle. I have no idea. I have no idea where to go. I may have been lost, but I did find a jungle temple and embarrassingly fell for its traps. I think I'm gonna fall for these traps. Ooh, I fell for it. <laughs> How did I fall for that? Eventually I made it out of the jungle, but I still had no cactus. So I decided to keep on searching and after what felt like hours, I returned home empty handed to a stormy night. I realized I didn't have a lightning rod on top of the new stables building. So I climbed on up and uh, classically got hit again. Oh my gosh, every time. Mm hmm so it seems we've taken a little bit of an L. We got the brown dye, got the cocoa beans, but we did not get the green. So, you know what? No, no. Who am I kidding? I haven't given up that easy. Where's my horse? I need a horse. Nine apples. Well, horses also like sugar, so I'll take some sugar cane. I have a little bit. Where the horse is at? Aha, uh -huh. that's gotta be a good horse, right? Here we go. That sounds fast. Okay, look, where's my the saddle? Come back. Woo! Look at. Yo, this horse has got some moves. I can't tell if this was a fast horse or if it's just moving a lot and it feels fast. But I got a horse and that is sick. Let's put some armor on. Black and blue. That is my name for you. And that rhymes, which is perfect. The arm is kind of glitched. Cactus will no longer evade me. I have a horse. The bopping head's kind of funny. It's like it's grooving to music. It's like infinite cake. Tell me I'm wrong. This this looks like infinite cake. <laughs> We're just riding over fields of cake. Cake fields. Oh man. Wait, what is that over there? All right, hello snow villagers. Watch out. You stay away from my horse. Get out of here. Excuse me, snow villager. Excuse me, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, do you know where any cactus is? No, okay, <laughs> clearly not. Look at this horse swimming. Come on, buddy. 
Almost there. So I think I've got possibly the fastest horse in the game. Uh, and I've been walking for a very long time. Finding absolutely nothing. At this point, I'm starting to think that Minecraft forgot to add deserts to the game. There's no signs of hope anywhere. I'm starting to get very concerned, but I haven't given up yet. I have not given up yet. I just, I just really want to. <laughs> After what's about to happen, I kind of, <laughs> I kind of actually wish I did give up. Yeah, that, sh that would have been a good idea. Huh, look at this. This gives me vibes. I'm getting a lot of vibes from this place here. I'm gonna go this direction. Sun, slow down. <laughs> slow, okay, don't go, don't be going anywhere. I got cactus to find. That was a great jump, black and blue. That was a great jump. Okay, it's a big river. I don't want to cross that one. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Don't touch my horse. Don't touch it. Don't touch my horse. Don't you dare shoot my horse. Get your hands. <gasps> no, no. No! Minecraft. Minecraft, why are you doing this to me? Why, Minecraft? My feelings. Oh, I'm gonna give up. I'm trapped in the middle of nowhere without a horse, without a reason to live. Uh, spiders. Is it too much to ask? I just wanted cactus. One block. That's all I needed. The sun's rising. It's like beautiful but my mood is low so I don't care I don't care that it's beautiful it stinks it's stupid everything's stupid this game sucks I just want my horse back <laughs> huh okay cool a mesa but where's the cactus why is there no cactus and it's raining oh can a man not get a break Oh yay, cactus! Finally, <laughs> I just want to dig a hole and disappear now. I'd acquired the cactus, but at what cost? On the journey for a material item, I gained a friend, but before I could even enjoy that, as is my luck, I lost that friend and returned home with a single block. This train had been carrying on way too long, and I hadn't taken the time to process it, so I knew what I had to do next. Black and blue, you were a great horse. In fact, you were you were the best horse I ever had. But more than that, you were my friend. And well, actually, I think that's it. You were just my friend and a horse. Anyway, here's a pink tulip. I hope you like it. I know we didn't really get to know each other well enough to know what flowers we liked. But anyway, I'll miss you. Uh huh. So I know I'm joking around a lot, but uh, I am <laughs> I'm genuinely quite tilted that I lost black and blue. That horse was a beast. Hey, look at those guys down there. Alright, so uh, we made this church to commemorate the great horse, black and blue. It's, uh, it's nothing crazy, it's quite simple. Has a lovely atmosphere in here though. But the most important thing is this stained glass window here. We have, uh, is it a sunset or is it a sunrise? Who knows? Because the sun does go down, but you gotta remember it also comes back up. So even though we're having a little bit of a rough patch, it's gonna get better. It's, uh, well... At least I hope it's gonna get better. Outside this like tower entrance thing here, I also added this tree cause like, you know, new life and stuff. And it's got this epic view of the ocean, which I think looks so cool. And then you walk up here to like this view up here, which is beautiful as well. So it's good. Wait a second. No shot. No, get out. No, no, no. Oh, that's the end of the episode. I'm gonna go run away now and try tame a new horse. Join us next time where we're gonna transform this entire village into <laughs> hopefully an impenetrable fortress. See you then. Welcome to the secret part of the episode where I talk about the shot that I did and some of you guys commented that villages, or pillages should I say, don't use uh, swords. Uh, yeah, they don't. <laughs> they use crossbows. I made, I took the shot at like three in the morning, okay? Give me a break. I was, I was not thinking straight at that time. I was, I just wanted to get the video out and I made a mistake. So I'm sorry, it won't happen again. <laughs>